Can you be arrested for returning a used item of clothing to a store? Find out after our logo thingy. The short answer is yes, it is possible. So here's what the law is and how to stay out of trouble. The practice of buying clothing, wearing it once or twice, and then returning it to the store for a refund is called wardrobing. Yes, there's actually a word for that. And it costs retailers over $10 billion a year. That's a lot of blouses. Wardrobing becomes more and more prevalent, especially the people buying more and more stuff online. And with liberal online return policies, I would expect retailers to keep tabs on people doing wardrobing and turning them over to authorities more often if they commit fraud. So how would you get in trouble and how do we keep you out of trouble? The criminal violation would be fraud and in uh, legal terms, fraud consists of four elements. The first element is a misrepresentation of a material fact by a person who knows or believes it to be false to a person or entity who is justifiably relying on them to tell the truth and an injury or damages to that person. So in normal English, fraud is when you lie to someone who's relying on you to tell them the truth and that you know you're lying and because of your lie, they are damaged. That light, you will not get in trouble if you comply with the store return policies, no matter how liberal. Most stores allow returns within a specific period of time if the clothing is still in new condition. And even if you lie to them, as long as you're complying with their store return policies, you're gonna be fine. Most people get in trouble when they lie about whether they had worn the clothes before. They return their clothes and say it was never worn even though they had worn it out the night before. But usually because of the difficulty in proving the lie or the misrepresentation of a material fact, more stores will simply just refuse the refund and they aren't going to turn you over to the authorities. The cases where I've actually seen people arrested are where they have bought items at store location number one and tried to return the item outside of the return period at store number two thinking that the store number one would have realized they had just bought this, so they take it to store number two instead. But if the stores somehow communicate and can prove that the item was bought outside of the return period, then our fashionista might end up wearing a new orange wardrobe. In any case, you can never go to jail if you are honest when you are returning clothes. Trust me, those shoes are not worth it. Thank you for watching.